All in my day, all in my time, all in my time, all in my time. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burner across your face from mine to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush your hammer. I hit a brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the college football cheese as always. In today's video, I have another update to a defense that I've pretty much been running all year. But I've also had a lot of doubters and haters in the comments section saying that it was only working because I was using teams like Georgia. So I started using Texas State, which is the team that I use in my offline dynasty. And I typically play against whatever team it gives me, but today I decided to go specifically after Tier 1 teams to show you guys that even though this team only has a 74 overall defense, that this defense is so overpowered it won't matter, and I could still play and shut down the best teams in the entire game, starting off with what might be the best team in the game in Alabama. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, if you guys need more help and more money plays, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment. The defense I'm going to show you guys once again today comes from a formation called the 3-3 Mint, but you could also find it in formations called the 3-3 Odd and the 3-3 Tight. So look through your favorite playbook and there's a pretty good chance that you will find a formation that looks just like this and you can use these setups the exact same way. The three plays that I use the most are going to be the Cover 3 Match, which is a play I've gone over a lot in previous videos. So I won't go over this play too much here, but if you guys want to see more from the previous videos from the series, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I'm going to use Pinch Zero as my number one run defense as well as a blitz that I'll use from time to time when my opponent is passing. But my new base defense that I'm going to be running the most is going to be the cover three cloud, as I find this is probably the best zone style defense to use as the deep coverages are very difficult for most people to manipulate. And I find people have a very hard time figuring this coverage out. You're also going to want to make sure you flip this play in the huddle so that your pass rushers look like this because it's going to be very important when it comes to blitzing. But sometimes I won't flip it based off of which side of the field is wider. But I'll explain that in a minute. When it comes to my coaching adjustments, I basically just put everything you see here on concern as well as turning auto flip off so I can flip the play in the huddle. Next up, I try to make my substitutions, but my opponent gives me zero time as he's already trying to go back into the game before I'm even into my death chart. Typically, college football players seem to give you a little bit more time than this, but my opponent must be in a hurry or he doesn't have any adjustments to make to his team since he has such a god squad. But I literally have to change just about every single player on this defense as the starting outside linebacker and safety are both 78 speed or worse. <laughs> Brother, ugh. And I don't even get all of my adjustments in, as this guy literally has the better team, is at home, and now my team isn't even set up the way that I want it. The setup for this defense is pretty easy. All I'm really going to do is pinch the defensive line, which is D-pad to the left and down, and that'll close up the inside lanes for any run plays. This defensive end can really be whatever I want him to be, as I can put him on a pass rush, or I can drop him into a hard flat, but I typically find that when I'm playing a mobile quarterback like Jalen Milrow, it's best to put him on a QB spy. This way, if he leaves the pocket, I can just push in the right stick, and he will go after him, so just make sure you have a fast enough defender in this spot. The the last thing to do for the base setup is to drop your user middle linebacker back about 8 to 10 yards and this is so you can shoot gaps because the linemen don't target you from back here. At the start of this game though I think I was a little bit psyched out by the fact that I was playing Alabama as this player is just clearly faster and I can't cut off the running back. And I play most of the first drive pretty cautiously as I'm expecting either to just overpower me or just bomb it over the top with his much faster players. I get him to a third and long and from here I switch over to the cover three as this is a matching style defense where the cornerbacks will cover a lot tighter than a typical zone. Especially against an offensive formation like this. I also decide to put my opponent under a little bit of pressure. So anytime your linebackers are in tight like this and not spread by the offensive formation, you can blitz all linebackers by hitting D-pad to the right and down the right stick. And then just use this linebacker here and drop him down over the guard before dropping back into coverage. Now one of the reasons 
reasons I chose cover three mats on this play is because we have a slot receiver right here where the seam is. And what makes cover three mats so good is that this cornerback will match if somebody threatens the seam. Only this is a guy from Alabama, so when he cuts inside, he gets open right over the middle, getting him all the way inside the 10 before he decides to try and run with Jalen Milrow. Danny, Danny, I need that ball. Get me the ball. You need the ball. Get me the ball. Get you the ball. Are you going to get me the oh, ball? I'll get you the ball. Oh, On offenses, I don't have my Georgia playbook. I'm also going to use the gun tight open, which is an offensive formation that I labbed a lot and broke down in my Kansas City Chiefs Madden offensive ebook. I have another gameplay of me using this team where I use this offense to perfection against Ohio State. So if you guys want to see an offensive breakdown video of me going against another five-star team, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. And I start the drive out by showing this guy how to run a speed option play properly. As we flip it out to the running back, and this guy is so good that Alabama might try to snatch him in the transfer portal next year. As He's a 94 speed running back who puts on a clinic on the first drive with his juke moves. Also got an 89 speed tight end, which is one of the reasons I like this team. As they really do have a lot of speed and we work our way down the field pretty quickly before I diagnose man coverage and we hit him with a simple zig route to take the lead. At the start of the next drive, I expect them to be passing a little bit more, so I come out in the cover three match one more time. And this is what I mean when I say that they cover much tighter. Gotcha, bitch. As we get an interception on the very first play of the next drive. We don't get much of a return more than style points. But now we're starting the drive in field goal range already. And with plenty of time left as we quickly go right down the field to get inside the 10 before switching over to the halfback slip screen to score from the five. Do it. With only 13 seconds left, you'd think that'd be half, but he decides to make a game of it as he goes down the field on me in three plays, barely beating my user on the next play to get inside the 30. And instead of going for a field goal, he decides to go for the touchdown, which pays off as he hits me with an absolute moonshot in the corner of the end zone. You cannot be serious! And I couldn't believe that that was in bounds. I get the ball in the second half though, and I absolutely baby my lead, as I'm already playing away against one of the best teams in the entire game, so I got no issue to run clock on this dude, doing everything we can to make this offense work, including taking off with the quarterback, hitting the halfback screens, taking the check downs, you name it, I'm doing everything I can to just extend this drive, as we get into field goal range and into the fourth quarter at the exact same time. Before this, running back's putting on an absolute clinic, as he is absolute stick work, and we get inside the 10 before punching in on the ground a few plays later to take a 14 point lead. And anytime I'm expecting a deep pass or one tighter coverage, I come out with a cover three match. And you can see why here, as my opponent thinks it's a regular cover three and that these zone drops are gonna stop. But cover three match will follow these guys the entire way as we get an interception to effectively end the first game. See ya. In the next game, we have the national champion Michigan Wolverines coming into our house. And my running back is still putting on a lot of work. How do you can as this guy's defense is probably a little bit better as he gets me to a fourth and three that I barely convert before holding me to a field goal on the very first drive. And I'll take the points because I have faith in my defense, but I didn't expect my opponent to come out in a three tight end set pretty much every single time as he's mostly running the ball just like Michigan does in real life. So we switch over to the cover four quarters, which is going to be probably my best run defense since these safeties will play the run first. And we try to shut them down that way before I realized that I didn't set my coaching adjustments for this game as we would have had that pitch covered. So after that play, we go, we set our coaching adjustments. On the next play, since he's mostly running out of a three tight end set, we're just going to go to our man zero defense and run commit as this is going to have the least amount of penalty. But somehow I made a mistake and the tight end was completely uncovered with nobody assigned to him. And we were lucky they didn't score there. On the next play, we run commit again, and it looks like we have him dead to rights with two defenders shooting the gap, but for some reason, one of them stops, and the other one just doesn't make the tackle as he gets around them, and this has got to be the five-star advantage. And we're not playing for a field goal this time, as my opponent's running a little bit too much man zero blitz as we dial up a simple zig route and take it to the house on the very next series to take a 10-7 lead. Back on defense, we go right back to that man zero blitz and run commit one more time. And the reason we can do this is because in college football 25, the penalty is much lower as only box defenders feel the penalty. So these outside quarterbacks don't react at all as he tries to bomb it up over the top and then we get a very easy interception to get the ball back. Metal to the metal, then stop, then stop. But I don't get anything out of it and I try to run the speed option play only to get a bad pitch animation. Houston, we have a problem. And what's the running back doing? Why is he blocking on this play? Can I ask you a question? You got a moment? Mm -hmm. Which team do you play for? It's bad enough that I'm playing a much better team, but now I'm getting stupid animations that are costing me defensive touchdowns. 
but that really seemed to light a fire in my offensive line and their blocking. As this quarterback McLeod really is the truth as we take off on a big run on third and five to get the first down before catching him in another Manzer blitz and hitting a simple zig route to take the lead right back. But he still has 40 seconds before the end of the half so on the next play when I try to cover this three tight end set by myself I can see that I need a little bit of help as I have to cover the first route that I see and the other route gets open behind me. So on the very next play I do a different setup where a lot of times I like to use the guy who's blitzing off the edge here and just drop him back into coverage since I don't expect him to throw into the flats and now I have all the coverage I need to bottle that play up. He tries to run a hurry up and do it again so I use the exact same guy to take away the drag as the second route is covered once again by the hook zone forcing him to go to the third read up to the deep zone gotcha, bitch. and that's exactly where the cover three safety is as we get another interception that we probably would have took to the house if it wasn't for my own guy getting in my way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. With only 12 seconds left I dotted up to my 89 speed tight end who's absolutely nasty as we get out of bounds. Then with 4 seconds left we decide we're going to hit this Texas route as every middle linebacker clears out and the middle of the field is just wide open as we score to take a 2 possession lead before half. In the second half down 2 possessions he's still Michigan so he's still running the ball. So once I see him do that on second down I go back to Manzer blitzing on 3rd and 3. Anytime I use his defense I'm going to use the blitzing middle linebacker because he has no responsibility. As you can see right here he tries to pass to the running back and the man coverage is all over it. On the next play on 4th and 1 we expect him to run again so we run commit one more time. As we really only gave up 7 points on offense to both Alabama and Michigan. So that's that's video. If you guys want to see more from this defense as I did make previous videos, I'll have them popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. Where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.